Hi, everybody. My name is John Wayard. I'm a delivery specialist at BGSF. And with me, I have Mr. Will May, one of our current contractors, um, who is also a veteran. And we wanted to take an opportunity to spotlight one of our veterans who's on contract and just have a, a quick question and answer scenario where we could talk about some of the roadblocks that our veterans are facing when they're leaving that military experience um, and trying to enter the, the private sector. Um, and roadblocks are found. So uh, by having Will here with us, it gives us the opportunity to maybe talk about these things, bring them to light, and hopefully we can help somebody uh, in the future who might be experiencing some of these same roadblocks. And finally, I just wanted to also add how Will and I met. Uh, back in early October of 2022, Will actually applied to one of our job postings that we had listed. So I reached out to him. We started a conversation, many conversations actually, and um, submitted Will a total of three times on three separate jobs at three different times. And it was the third job that we landed. Um, Will, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Yeah. Um, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Will May. Um, I served in the U.S. Army for almost six years, uh, ETS back in September. Um, now I work as a platform engineer for healthcare facilities in the area, contracted through BGSF. And um, I'm thrilled to, um, you know, kind of highlight my experiences trying to uh, land this job. Excellent. Excellent. Well, let's get into the question and answer segment and, you know, we'll just go from here. OK, so number one is what got you interested in being in the Army? Yeah, um, so growing up, um, I was a military brat. I watched my father get up at the crack of dawn every morning, uh, throwing on that uniform. Um, I was able to kind of witness, you know, the level of respect he received from uh, the soldiers underneath them. And that always kind of drove me towards a leadership role in anything I do. Um, so um, after college, just uh, military just seemed right. Perfect. Give us a little background on your career in the military and how did you get started there? Yeah, um, so making the decision to join was um, quite easy. Um, it all felt familiar. My dad was a great mentor. Um, I stayed in great shape throughout college, so um, basic training really felt like summer camp for me. Um, my main objective was to pick a, a tech-oriented job because um, that was my field of study in college was computer science. Um, but I wanted a, a job in the Army that will challenge me and uh, kind of push my skills further. Um, I got even more lucky when they sent me to Kuwait for my first duty station, um, ignoring the heat, because it was it was hot out there. Um, the mentorship and the teachings from um, the civilian contractors out there was what really kind of, you know, drove everything home for me. That's great. Did, um, did you have, with your studies in school prior to the military, being in the in in the IT space and then going into the military mm -hmm. um, and you wanted to stay in that IT space, were you able to identify a difference in what you were learning in school from the like civilian side of things versus what you were introduced to in the military on the military side of IT? Yeah, so um, AIT, which was, um, you know, advanced individual training, it's kind of a school they send, send you to um, after basic. Um, AIT um, was kind of what really redefined what I learned in college. Um, it just kind of took everything a step further and kind of applied it to, you know, military scenarios and a military setting. Excellent. Okay. Were there any specific hurdles that you experienced from a job seeker's perspective when looking for a civilian job out of the military? Yeah, um, the main hurdle I had to jump over when transitioning to the civilian sector was um, was lack of experience in a corporate environment. Um, my resume highlighted my skills well. Um, I would get tons of calls and emails, but um, employers were shying away from that lack of experience. You know, uh, it kind of felt like a liability to them. Okay. We're just going to dive into that question, just in kind of a similar way of asking it, uh, a little different though, but as you considered that transition from military to civilian life, how did you get started in the actual job seeking process? Yeah, um, so getting started was pretty daunting at first. Um, me being picky definitely did not help at all, um, but the no's definitely helped me to stay humble. 
Uh, one challenge that I think a lot of people don't consider in, um, in like a corporate setting is your wardrobe. Um, I was so used to just wearing that green suit uh, through the weekdays and then on weekends, just chilling in um, some basketball shorts, t-shirt, um, that, you know, I definitely kind of realized I definitely have to spruce things up and look more presentable. I could see that, you know, just the, the whole idea of you only make one person impression, right? Exactly. What are a few things that you think um, you learned from the Army that definitely helped you in your interview process? Yeah, a few things I acquired from service that I think helped a lot is um, eye contact and body language. Um, you know, standing up tall, facing who I'm speaking with, et cetera. Um, I think you come off more trustworthy and genuine that way. Um, and I think that definitely helped a lot uh, when speaking with employers face to face. Did you find it difficult to relate military experience to a civilian role or did you find that fairly transferable? Um, no, I did not find it difficult at all uh, relating my military skills to the civilian sector. Um, but I based that on, you know, the job that I picked, you know, I, I, I picked a tech oriented job in military um, that transitions well on a, a resume. When you started your role with our client, was it was it a smooth transition or did you face any challenges getting started? Yeah, um, I definitely had a bit of a learning curve when I started my new role. Um, but surprisingly, I enjoyed that challenge. Um, it felt new and refreshing, and I think I've handled things pretty well thus far. Um, one big challenge I faced was WebEx. Um, you know, this app was my kryptonite for a while. Um, I had to learn to be proactive and communicate clearly to meet expectations um, for our clients. Um, I definitely do think that app is a widely used tool for um, a lot of companies in the civilian sector. Will, that's interesting that you say that about WebEx. I'm just curious if you have any you know, additional feedback to some of those um, roadblocks that you met with WebEx versus your military experience in that communication realm. Yeah, um, so um, in the military, um, you know, following orders, your interactions on a day to day basis, trying to get um, the mission done, um, you know, was very straightforward, very in your face. Um, whereas, you know, WebEx communications, you know, you might be um, talking to a manager of another department. Um, you definitely have to kind of develop a sense of etiquette and saying what needs to be said um, over an electronic communication. Um, I definitely felt like that was a challenge for me was just, you know, staying on top of that, uh, making sure I'm saying the right things, making sure I'm coming off um, how I need to come, come across as, um, was definitely something to get used to, for sure. Awesome, thank you for that, Will. And I, I think it's a fair mention too that you started in late November um, with our client um, on contract. And in a very short amount of time, if I'm not mistaken, you have been promoted to team lead over there. Is that correct? That's correct. That's correct. <laughs> My man. <laughs> well, Will, um, that's all the questions we have for you today. Um, definitely want to kind of end this by just, you know, acknowledging my admiration for you as a veteran thank you so much for your service and um and everything that you have sacrificed for our country and those of us who are you know living very safe over here right now so thank you very much for your service and i hope that we uh, have the opportunity to reach some ears and eyes that that might benefit from this interaction and and maybe they you know might say hey i need to hopefully you know reach out to some recruiters and uh, maybe i'll find the right one who's going to advocate for me you know and give me some tips on my resume, et cetera. So um, thank you very much, Will. Appreciate your time and um, thank you for your veteran service. Thank you. You're very much welcome. Thank you. Mm -hmm.